All right, guys, we're back to the farm. We finished up harvesting all those fields, and now we're getting back onto our fields. I want to turn these over. We have a lot of compaction from harvesting, running uh, the grain carts on the fields, having the 9RT, which it, it, just the fields. There's a lot of compaction after harvest time. So we want to turn these guys over, uh, and then there shouldn't be too much erosion here. There, it, it usually isn't that windy. Uh, come this time of season, but I do I do want to get these turned over they need plowing and then I will have two corn fields Instead of two soybean fields like last time So we'll rotate the crops accordingly and then we're gonna test out. I don't know. We're gonna see how the 9r handles With this I I don't know it should be able to handle the five section It's got the horsepower, but I might need to pull out the 9rt. We'll see we should be fine um, honestly it might it might just be totally fine. We'll just see. I, I want to get her into the ground and then we'll test her out here. There we go. Drop it down. Looks good. And we'll just stay on this line here. Yeah, it pulls it just fine. That's perfect. So we will get plowing here. This five section it knocks out a big chunk of it. And then a bolt should be getting here soon. We'll get our other plow in the field as well. We'll probably pull that with the 9RT. And then, and then yeah, things are looking good. So we're going to be able to knock these out fairly uh quickly i i was thinking that today should be a pretty easy day unless like something crazy happens we'll mostly be plowing uh, i gotta feed the horses here soon um get them some more straw so we'll sh shred some shred some bales that's hard to say some straw bales uh, but yeah guys thanks for tuning in today we got a lot ahead of us if you guys haven't already heard of g portal it's in the description i can get you guys five percent off a dedicated server now the dedicated servers are what we're running here so we can have multiple people on and be playing with a bunch of friends random people too and you don't need to host it yourself so g portal is the host of it you can rent servers i have five percent off you can hold up to 16 people and have a bunch of a uh, bunch of mods in there too so check it out link in the description click that link if you guys are interested and i can get you a little discount there guys i just knocked out the field i put my earbuds in and i just i went to town i was listening to a pretty good podcast and the field's done so there it is the birds we ran over a few birds that were down no i'm kidding we didn't but we almost did it was kind of fun to oh there go a few going down anyway but that is all teared up i am or bolt supposed to get here so i thought he was supposed to be here i'm gonna head over to field nine we'll get that ripped up i think bolt's gonna be here so we hopefully he can sit in the tractor and i gotta do a few things uh uh i always forget um more the salesman at uh at john deere rainport rainport john deere we are going to head down there now and the 8970 is all set up and ready to go so we got it all fixed it wasn't cheap it cost me a lot but i trust him a lot and uh and it worked out good so the 8970 is ready to go i gotta bring back the, i'm I think I'll just, he said it to just hold on to the 9 for now. I don't need to bring it back right away because I, I told him I was kind of using it right now. And I, I was I was getting my use out of it because, by the way, guys, this 9R, I'm, I'm like demoing it or just using it for the meantime. He took the 8970, so he brought me this 9R to use. So now, so I wasn't missing my 8970, even though I like my 8970 better. Uh, we're going to go pick that up. And then I, he said he's going to come and um, pick this up sometime. But he can't do delivery today so we're gonna go pick up the 8970 i got my low loader it'll work just fine and it'll be uh it'll be fun to get out there all right so i gotta head into town it's a bit of a trip i don't like to bring the truck and the low boy in there but you know you gotta do what you gotta do so it'll be some tough driving well officially what well, i got the oversized load badging all over there so we should be legal so more said he parked it up front we'll pull in hopefully there's a good spot we'll uh we'll drop her down and then put up the uh put up roll on the 8970 and get her loaded up but it, it won't be an easy drive like i said in town is kind of tight and i like i don't like trucking in town it's never fun all the teen drivers or like the teen girls are always in the way one thing that's the funniest is 
I'll go to make a big swing and left turn. And I'm, I'm getting really close to like a, like a young person, guy or girl just sitting there like a 16 year old new driver. Like for instance, if I took a left turn there and then they're, they're just staring at me. I'm getting so close to them because I'm swinging so wide and they don't understand. They're like, what the heck? They're getting mad at me. And they, it's, it's just really ironic. They don't understand that. Like I have to do that to make the turn. So I always think that's pretty funny. There's the Dodge dealer. When I was gonna, I was, I went in there. I said, hey, can I trade my, uh, I was, I, was, I, I kind of wanted to see what they would price my 3,500 at. And they load balled me a lot. So I still was better than what I would have got for a trade in at the Dodge dealership back there when I sold the 3,500 at the auction. So that turned out um, good there. But yeah, that Dodge dealership, I'm not going there. They gave me such a low uh, trade in value on that. I, I was honestly pretty upset by it. Looks like they're doing some construction here. It looks like they're some sort of sewer lines or piping. I'm not too sure. And one thing that really bugs me, there's really no good way to get to the dealership from uh, from our farm. But here it is, guys. We're pulling in. I don't know if Moore's on call, if he's out, but I'm just going to pick up the 8970. He said the keys are in it. It's good to go. Um, and so I guess there's his work truck. So hopefully we can talk to him. That would be nice. That would be nice to talk to him. He said, yeah, everything's good. I talked to him on the phone and I stopped by the other day. I just drove the GMC down and we got everything squared away and I authorized the work to be done on it because I, I wanted to see he it was ten thousand dollars in repairs I wanted to see exactly what was being done make sure I wasn't like I trust more but I want to make sure I wasn't getting like rude or anything because it's always good to see it on your own eyes but it's nice to be back in the 8970 can't wait to get it in the field we'll get it ripping and uh we'll, we'll hook up to the other one of our other plows all right so this new low loader that we got i got it extra wide so this should be able to handle it of course we're gonna hang off on the side i don't know any trailer that would be able to get this guy on here perfectly all right i'm a little okay i better adjust i'm a little to the right that was my b get this better there we go that's the center right there that's kind of what i'm one of those hydraulic hookups is exactly dead center the tractor i believe at least that's what i always go by all right, that looks good, even on both sides, nice. And there we go, we'll hook up. So, more hasn't come out, I'm sure he could hear me. Maybe he took some other vehicle, but I think I'll just be on my way. There we are, and then I'm thinking, what is, how can I get out of here? I'm not gonna pull around there, that's the dead end. No way through here, I'll just back up here, this should be fine. Throw my hazards on, just in case somebody comes pulling in, that would be bad. There we go, boys. The 8970 looks so good on there. It'd be so nice to have it back in here. But I, I think I'm done with my spending spree on new equipment. I pretty much got everything for harvesting stuff. I might, uh, there's a few implements that I want to get. But other than that, after we have the horses and everything, I want to start making money before I spend money. There we go. We'll get on. the And then they have 15% off. But yeah, John Deere is 15% off. So when I bought... The 9RT, we got a pretty good deal. I was happy with it. Then when we bought a few other implements, um, I was pretty happy with it too. But we're heading down there now. There's the train. Excited, excited. This is a heavy load, but I love it. Super cool. I'm really happy with the trailer. This is super smooth. Nice and easy trucking. Once again, if you guys are enjoying today's episode, please hit the like button. Like always, we always appreciate it. If you're trying to figure out a way to support the channel, hit the like button is the best way. And subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'm just going to shoot down the interstate. I think this will be best. It'll probably be fastest, but I want to make sure no traffic comes up on me. And the breakdown of the 8970 was kind of a bad time for it to happen. We were in the middle of the harvest, but more was so nice that we were able to get a, a replacement tractor. So we didn't have to deal with that. But I'm surprised that they had replacement tractors just to give out for that. I'm sure it's super busy time, middle of harvest, middle, um, or I guess not middle of har harvest, but we got on harvest early. A lot of other farmers did. It was early, early fall. Um, compared to when we usually harvest but weather was perfect so we got right into it and then i forgot to tell you guys bolt came back just in time as i was about to start that field and there he is in the field right now so he's ripping that field like he's made a few passes quite a few passes so seemed like we weren't trucking for that long but he ended up getting a lot done there got about a quarter of it done 25 percent isn't bad and there's field we got cleaned up and i what we got to do is we got to put some we got to put some lime down. We got to restore um, the nitrogen balances in it. We got to get that lime down. It's been the the farmer before me said he hadn't put it on for two seasons. So going into our third one, they usually uh, it's a good recommendation to 
to put uh, Lime down on a three-year rotation, but I know some people who do it on a two-year rotation. Okay, the 9 8970 moved. I thought I strapped it down good enough. I think it'll be just fine, though. We're, we're almost here. It's not too big a deal that it moved as long. It didn't hurt nothing. There we go. And then I want to clean off the semi after using it for haul and grain and a bunch of other stuff. Make sure that she's nice and cleaned off. Yo, we detached. There we go. All right, then. I don't know. He, it looks like they didn't wash it. Usually, they wash the tractor, so they must have been busy. Um, it, it is pretty clean before this, but usually they wash everything. So, we'll just clean up the, the trailer here real quick. In the eight. In the 8970, just real quick. Want to make sure everything's going good. And it gives me a second to look around and uh, and make sure everything's good. There we go. All right, we'll get her off. And then I want to jump over. I'm trying. I'm always trying to figure out. We got so many trailers around here with the Wilson trailers. Is the four, technically four trailers we bought. We It took up a lot of space inside. So I'm always looking. Now, it's fine if I keep some of the trailers outside. But the grain, uh, the Wilson trailers, I wanted to keep them inside just because, I don't know, we have room for it in like the tarps and everything. I just want to keep it nice and clean. We can, I had room, but I think I'll, I'll just place these right here. Or I'll drop this down right here. I think that'll be fine. Guys, I'm really enjoying farming. It's a lot of fun doing the role playing stuff. Uh, not too many bad things have happened. So usually last time, I mean, we got a tornado on our old farm. That was crazy. It seemed like a lot of things were just going wrong on uh, on our last farm in Wisconsin, but to, if, this farms have been pretty good. It's a super big setup, and things are everything's a pretty like the sheds are really nice and I'm pretty modern uh, equipment and stuff. So I don't know, things have just been going. Oh wait, no, I'm not gonna put that there. Things have been going pretty good. So if you guys do enjoy, again, let me know in the comments if you enjoy farming. If you have any ideas on what we should do, it is gonna be in the slower time of the year. We just got done harvesting. Now, I mean, we're getting ready. Uh, we still have this lime and we're finishing up plowing and stuff, but it will be the slower part of the year. All right, there we go. That's a good spot for it. There's our, this is where we keep our, uh, our Wilson trailers. Good spot. We'll drop that down. And then I got a little bit of a problem. I did put that plow kind of tucked away. Or no, I didn't. The intern did. Uh, yeah, he's not working today either. He's been, he took two sick days last week, which he was actually sick. But it's pretty early to be taking some sick days, so I gotta pull out a few things, and we will uh, we'll get these over to this side here. There we go. It's kind of like I I gotta take everything out, pull the thing out in the back, which is our plow, what we actually need, and then the rest will go right back in. I shouldn't need to move the planner if I can. I should almost be able to. I should almost be able to come in through that door back up and then uh take it out from there all right now what i don't want to do is actually hit the 9rt that would be terrible it's kind of sticking uh the back end sticking out a bit i was kind of thinking about moving that or finding a better place but i should be fine i just i want to be super careful and then we have our sprayer too uh on the other side so that's two very expensive pieces of equipment that we could uh damage but we should be fine we should be good just nice and slow there we go we got her hooked up and shoot all the way over here and then crank it good all right yeah okay plenty of room there we go okay the wheels are kind of wobbling all right so i'm gonna shoot over we will be hitting our big soybean field with this and then uh bolt should be over there to help too but field 14 this guy is big and hopefully like by by the by the time i'm like halfway through we can get bolt to jump down too so things are going good and we, we've been doing a lot of field work. Like I said, not a lot of things have been going wrong, which is good. Besides, we had to repair the 8970. But typically, we have, like, crazy stuff happen. Like, last time we had tornado come in. Just a lot of bad stuff. So, and the irrigation system, all of our canals are full, too. So, that's good. We have plenty of, uh, of water to keep our fields nice and moist in case we run into um, a drought again. There's Bolty. Looking good. Making the turns. He's been he's been a really helpful hand, so it's super nice to have somebody else on uh, on the farm too. And then we have the intern who again has been like really sick, so that's annoying. But I think he'll be back helping out here soon, especially when we lay down some lime. I think that'll be a nice easy job for him, and it won't be like too stressful. And he like he can't really mess it up too bad, unless he like misses a spot and never tells us. But um, that's pretty hard to do, so I'm not too worried about that. This combination ripper, the 2720, is what I'll be using 
for this field starting out at least it all looks good yep it's a bit smaller and the 8970 can just rip right through it but it's good this field is big and we'll have two we'll have two plows going at once so it'll work just fine but there we go guys i'll run around and do an outside lap and then that time okay hopefully when we're halfway through with this bolt will be able to jump on and we can knock it out really quick after that a lot of people were wondering about chow and, and where he's at well now we got some tractor time we can do some tractor talk but chow uh, i was just on the phone with him yesterday on new year's day and he was super excited about like just the new year he said he made a few uh, mistakes last year in 2019 on his repo business and he knows how to correct it so that's good he's been always meeting the monthly payments that he owes me so that's uh everything's going good there pretty much he owns the repo shop now and then i just lent him the money so that's kind of how it works out i was the bank to him if that makes sense anyway uh so now is doing good i think we'll see more of him he says he wants to start doing more youtube videos in the 2020 year which is good because it's always you guys really enjoy him always asking about him so we'll make sure to do that and he's got his chicken farm going so he hasn't ever asked me for any like tractors or anything which is pretty interesting uh he's pretty far away too it would, it would he was closer when i was in uh at my other farm but it would be kind of a long drive if he needed one but like last time he always borrowed my tractors but ch yeah chav's doing good repo shops making big money so that's really nice to hear and his chicken farm's doing good too so that's all good and there's uh there's another little creek here or river whatever you want to call it so we're gonna run around the outside and i'll see you guys once we get done with the first lap and then uh i got another good story for you all right so we're a few passes in did the full lap and everything this is quite a bit smaller uh than, than the five section that we have the john deere 2770 or 2720 is it, what we got right here is just so much smaller it's it just kind of sucks jumping from this over um, when we're on the five section. It's just so much nicer turning around, seeing how much you're getting done. But I think Bolt will be finishing up here soon. I hope. But anyway, guys, this is going to wrap up today's episode. Getting a lot of work done. We'll have all three fields knocked out, ready for lime. That'll be huge step here today. So we got so much done. And uh, then we got the 8970 back. So the farm is 100% back. We miss a little guy or a big guy. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Peace out and have a good day.